Well, it's the day before the Darjo Owners Boat Tournament. Luckily enough, I got a buddy who owns a Darjo Boat, and he's entered us into this tournament. So I got to stop by the local tackle shop, Hook, Line, and Sinker here at Harlingen, Texas, and load up on some AM lures for the tournament. All right. We're starting the morning off with our Darjo Tournament. We'll see how it goes. Out here in the Dardle Owners Tournament, we're after an 18 inch trout and the heaviest red. That's not gonna work for us. Dink. Skipjack, throw it in the box, bro. Throw it in the box, we did that to it. Oh, he foul hooked him. Go, <laughs> Is that a skipjack? Or a trout, trout. A little trout. Damn, bro. Nope. Stop. Does anybody know what type of fish it is, if you can see it? I don't know what that is. That's good enough. Little dink trout. <laughs> so we're fishing a 212 rig. Whoa, crap. Anyway, so we're fishing a 212 rig. So they sell a 212 rig, a 419 rig. You can buy them at the local tackle shops down here in South Texas. All I really have is a knockoff version. It's just one of those bottom shelf top water lures you can buy at the Walmart. Took off the hooks on it and have about a three foot monofilament leader to an eighth of an ounce screw lock jig head and fishing with a AM chicken shark lure. Some of the guys on the boat are using candy corn and they're using it and they're being pretty effective. So the name of the game is cast as far as you can. And what gives you the advantage of this lure or this rig is that the top water puts additional play into that lure. Just like when you're walking the dog Go ahead and give it a couple of pulls, let that bait sink down, work it again, and it'll pop it back up. And target the sand spots. That's the key to today. Fishing in this dirty water with some grass and a mixture of sand spots, and all the fish have been in these sand spots. That's that 212 with a candy corn lure on it. Working wonders, AM. Candy corn. Not the right size, but it's still fish. He threw out a piece of shrimp. Yeah. No, not big enough. Stop! 212 rig. AM candy corn.
Damn, he snapped my rod. <laughs> or you're back? <laughs> Dude, that's a good fish. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Measure him. That 212 rig. What do we got there? Nice true tiza. Where is your grandma? She go pro on the castle. <laughs> Dink. So when you get in this situation when your lures are getting tore up by the damn fish, what I usually do is I bite a section off and that lets me put the hook a little bit further back and lets my lure last. So if you're running in that situation where you only have a couple of packs and you're running out or you're running low. Just go ahead and don't don't even think twice about it. Just cut it and slide it back. Stoic Outdoors on YouTube did a video where they were catching flounder and he was having a bunch of short strikes. He went ahead and did the same thing and he started catching those flounder. You might want to cut off the bottom end right here a little bit and then you can actually give it a little bit better profile. Shit. Get the net, bro. Get the net. Uh, now, nah, I don't know. Get him in the boat, get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Measure him. No, no, no. Nah. I guess he can't hear over the rattle. Nah. Not for his tiny guy. GoPro. I got a hard head. <laughs> yeah, one of the... Be careful with these speckled trout, especially with the uh, treble hooks, because they flip so much you end up cooking your damn hand. Sometimes these damn trout will run at the boat, so you got to be ready for them. He swallowed that the beacon. It's been an epic day so far. We went from chicken shark to candy corn to the beacon because we actually ran out of candy corn. Uh, everything's been working on this 212 rig out here. We've been non stop trout. We probably caught somewhere around 50 of them so far. It's been non stop freaking action. We just can't get the right size that we need. Flip it, flip it, flip it in the boat. Well, it's not from a lack of fish that we didn't win the tournament. It just didn't work out in our favor. Unfortunately, the fish that we were able to turn in was it. A little bit over than what we needed it to be. All we got left was sore fingers and some beat up lures. Go ahead and follow, like, and subscribe.